have spent a lot of time combing the internet looking for the perfect Santa to paint. For a while, I used to just simply look for pictures of Santa. And because this was usually for my own self, I was combing every corner of the internet looking for something that would inspire me to paint. After a while, I came to a realization that the reason these images weren't inspiring to me was because many of them were the same. There's so much great Santa art out there, so many wonderful Santa references to use if you're looking for a traditional Santa painting. But for me, I wanted something a little less traditional. Like, let's think about it. If Santa was a real guy, he would look like a real guy. I don't think that he would be looking like a lot of those jolly Saint Nick images that we are so used to seeing. And I really like the idea of painting a little series of realistic Santas. So to do this, I didn't have to comb the internet. All I had to do was go and find some inspiring bearded faces to paint. I decided to do a series of Santa faces and you can see here on my easel, there's another Santa right by the one that I'm working on. There is already a video here on my YouTube channel with that Santa and the process. So go and take a look. I will link to it in the description as well. If you're new to painting portraits, painting beers is actually a really great place for you to start. When I was teaching some paint and sip nights, now these nights are not filled with artists who are eager to learn new skills. They're usually filled with wonderful people who just want to have a lot of fun. Painting portraits is not the easiest thing to do when you don't have a skill base to fall back on. So one of the things that I have really great success with on teaching a paint and sip night to a bunch of people who are not really even paying attention was painting bearded faces. Now the reason that there was such success with painting a bearded face on those evenings was because the only thing you really had to focus on getting right was the eyes. If the eyes were correct, they showed some emotion, they were in the right place, the rest of the face was easy to fall into place as we went along. Just think about what a bearded face looks like a lot of the structure of the cheek the jaw the chin even the shadows and that are around the nose are all covered in facial hair especially when you have a really big bushy beard and hair coming down along the side of the face there's a lot of structure that you just don't have to deal with when you're learning how to paint a face so if you're intrigued by beards and you're still a little bit worried about your abilities and skill levels to paint a face, a beard is a really great place to start. Now, if you are actually interested in learning how to paint portraits, I have a school, it's called Bold School. It's an online art school where you can learn very specifically portraits amongst other things and we paint in bold color and we teach all the secrets of bold color we have several different instructors there teaching their styles and processes and we teach the face it's actually easy to paint a face but i know if it's your very first time it can there's a lot to think about there's a lot of features there's a lot of structure there's a lot of different forms we break it down at bold school but here today I'm demonstrating how to paint a bearded face, which like I said earlier, is a really nice, simple place to start. But it's also a lot of fun and there's so much texture in a bearded face and often a bearded face is portrayed on an older face, which has a lot of, of architecture to it. There's lots of wrinkles and, and depth in that face and that's one thing that really draws me into, into painting wrinkled bearded faces. So back to my series, I wanted to paint non-traditional Santa faces. So I found a whole bunch of references and printed them out. And this is my second Santa face. Now this is simply just a man who has a nice, beautiful beard. He's looking down. He feels really contemplative to me. So I wanted to bring in some really warm light, you know, the blues that are in his beard and coming from one direction in the shadows that that cool shadowed side of his face gives you that illusion of nighttime of winter and then you see this warm firelight coming in over the other side of his face and this is very intentional to help create the mood with color the the red that i have coming in here this is of course not in the image 
but I wanted to bring the red in to bring in the feeling of Christmas. So even though in this painting, there's nothing really traditional, nothing that is blatantly Christmas, we're getting the feel of the red jacket of Santa and that warm glow of, of a fire on a winter's night, which is where I live in Canada, usually happening at Christmas time. So it brings in the illusion, that feel, the essence or ambiance of Christmas just simply through the light and the color of red in his suit jacket. In my series, I'm planning on working with a few different kinds of faces. I felt that this guy, his big bushy beard would be a very um, obvious portrayal of Santa. That's how I always picture Santa. But I also want to play with the idea of shorter beards, maybe seeing if I can make a reference that is not Santa, just a reference of a man with a short beard. I'm wondering if I can make it have the essence and feel of Santa or the essence of Christmas. This is the challenge that I'm bringing myself. So there's so many different types of bearded men. Now, if you simply just Google bearded men, you'll see a lot of people who photograph homeless men because a lot of homeless men will have long beards and a lot of them look sad and very tired, a little bit haggard. It will be also an interesting challenge to take a painting or to take a reference photo like that and see if you can turn it into Santa because Santa is often thought of as jolly and happy. I mean, what a wonderful guy, what he does. He works all year just to give presents to kids. He's gotta be a jolly guy, but maybe, you know, he's a little tired too. Maybe on Christmas night when he gets home or Christmas morning when he gets back home, he's tired. Maybe um, as it gets close to Christmas, he's stressed and anxious. Can you create that type of an emotion and look in a painting and make it feel Christmassy, give it a, a jolly is probably not the right word, but give it a very nostalgic feel or just a feel to bring in the contemplativeness of Christmas. Um, it's a, it's just a challenge to look at all of these different references that are available simply of bearded men and see if you can bring Christmas into them. Now this guy was very contemplative and as I paint him, I, I feel contemplating myself with this warm firelight and this glow in his downturned eyes, his contemplative look. And I think about what is Christmas? Christmas is about the birth of Jesus. Jesus is God come to earth for the purpose of bringing peace into the hearts of man. And later on, as everybody found out, as the story goes, he came to earth so that he could save mankind. So this was a really big deal. And to me, this Santa is, is giving off the essence of the story of Christmas, the story of the first Christmas. He's contemplating the true gift that was actually brought down to earth. So I feel like that that pulls the essence of Christmas into this piece, even though he is not blatantly Santa. He doesn't have the Santa hat on. There's no reindeer. He, does, he doesn't have a jolly look. He doesn't have a red nose. But that essence of contemplating the meaning of Christmas, the purpose, the, the true reason we celebrate Christmas, that's what I feel is being pulled through this piece. One of my favorite ways to finish a piece, as you just witnessed, is to splatter into the beard. Beards are fun because you get to play. You get to add layers of texture. You don't have to paint a beard with a tiny brush painting every single hair, making it look realistic. There's a ton of layers, light, and interest and movement in a beard. And that is another reason why it can be a lot of fun to paint a bearded face if you're new to portraits because you don't have to get more uptight about painting another feature. You get to be loose and free in experimenting with brushwork and layers and texture in painting that beard. Thank you for hanging out and watching my contemplative bearded Santa come to life on my easel today. It was so fun to have you here. If you want to learn how to paint faces, 
go check out my online school, which is called Bold School, and it's found at www.boldschool.com. There's lots of great resources there, a few freebies, and lots of amazing classes to choose from. I do have plans to roll out another Santa video next week. So if you want to see how I paint from a bearded reference in a whole new way, be sure to subscribe and you'll get notified. And until then, Merry Christmas. Mm -hmm.